Jake the dog put it beautifully when he said, Dude, sucking at something is the first step towards being sort of good at something. And I can't agree more. You gotta let yourself be bad at something in order to improve at it. But before we get into the meat and potatoes of things, I wanted to ask you guys to subscribe if you like the content and click on the bell to get notified of future videos. A few days ago, I was messing around in Assetto Corsa with a friend of mine. We were looking for an empty server to join so we could just chill out and cruise around some circuits. And as we were talking, he mentioned that he only really did hot laps in Assetto Corsa by himself because he didn't feel good enough to race against others. First of all, I think that's a very responsible look at things. He didn't want to mess up other people's races and that's very kind of him. But the reality of things is that you're never going to learn how to race properly by not racing. You gotta suck at racing first before you can get good at it. Ralph Waldo Emerson has a great quote about it, do the thing and you will have the power. Most people overthink doing something. It's like being afraid to jump into the pool because the water is a little cold. You gotta do it and when you're in there, you'll survive. And it's the same for racing. You just have to race and maybe you'll be last, but at least you're learning how to race. I remember that I sucked even more than I do now when I started out. I was afraid of going online to race. I spun out in like 80% of the corners. I spent more time in the grass than on the track itself. Assetto Corsa Competizione was a rally game for me. I couldn't get this idea out of my mind that I was gonna ruin other people's races if I went online. I would probably drive into everyone on accident and they would hate me and they would remember my name and they would ban me on every server. I would be on a blacklist somewhere and they were gonna send an assassin from the dark web to get rid of me. Well, that might be an overreaction, but you get the point. I was very afraid to go online and ruin other people's races and my own reputation. Until I actually joined an online race. I had looked for a server and I had practiced that track and the car combination before joining. I knew what I had to do in case of any emergencies. And then I joined the server. I was avoiding everyone, trying not to be a nuisance to anybody. And to my surprise, most people were idiots. Everyone was running into each other. People were crashing left and right. Every building was on fire and I was happy as can be. I wasn't the worst person, morally speaking, on that track, which felt great. With this little story, I wanted to illustrate that we're all bad in the beginning and it's nothing to be ashamed of. But you gotta admit to yourself that you're bad and you gotta wanna improve. You don't have to be afraid of doing online racing in fear of ruining someone else's race. If you're cautious, careful, and you don't behave like a monkey with a steering wheel, you're probably gonna be fine. The only way you're gonna learn how to race is by doing it. So go out there and suck. <laughs> that sounds awful. Um, go out there and be bad at something because it's the first step to becoming sorta good at something. And that's the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more sim racing content and I hope you have a great day. Have some beautiful dreams tonight. Maybe you'll save your crush from some bad guys. And I hope to see you guys next time. My beautiful baby boys, my beautiful baby girls. I love you. See you later.